son of a bitch. Hey everybody, this is Matthew Movies coming at you with my review of Dark City, the 1999 sci-fi classic in my view, and also a cult film, and an underseen film, and an underrated film in some circles, and a movie that I absolutely adore. Now, if you are not new to my channel, and you've checked out my playlist of my favorite films of all time, this is one that is way up there. I've called it my fourth favorite film of all time, and you know, it's like anything else, your ranking can kind of shift over time, but it's definitely always been in my top five, and it's a movie that I absolutely love on every level. I think the visuals are outstanding, the story is great, the performances are fantastic. I just think this is such an expertly, expertly well put together film, and must see movie for any movie fan. Now, if you do not know what this movie is about, if you find out relatively early on I mean if you if me just telling you it's awesome is enough turn this off now go check it out and then come back but if you want to hear more essentially it is this guy who wakes up in the dark city and it's a city where there is no sun there is no night and every single night at a certain time everybody around him falls asleep and the city is altered and transformed and people are injected with new memories and that is the world he wakes up in and he's trying his best to kind of understand what's going on around him he's played by rufus sewell who's an actor who you've seen probably in a number of things i mean a knight's tale comes to mind right off the top for me but i mean he for i, I think of him from dark city or anything else but he does a great job of playing a character who is both confused and, and, and unaware of what's going on around him but also as the film progresses is able to figure things out and becomes quite powerful and, and, and just absolutely fantastic I, I love his performance and it, I mean it, he, the thing that I think is so great about his character too is as the movie goes on you don't know who he is you don't know if you should be rooting for him you know that he's your entree into the world but you could you could very easily see him all of a sudden turning on a, on, on, a, on a dime and revealing that he has this very dark nature and you can see that in him there is a real duality to who he is like you he feels like he's very innocent and unaware but there, there's more under the surface that you can read into and I think that that's very very well done and then you have Jennifer Connelly an actress who I, I always always th thought was fantastic and I really wish was doing more I mean voicing the suit in, in Amazing Spider-Man or not Amazing Spider-Man Homecoming is cool and all that I like seeing her on film because I think she's just absolutely stupendous and she does a great job of, of his his wife in this movie and uh, somebody who was equally confused by what's happening and, and, and the way that her the, her loved one has has shifted and, and her understanding of the world around her i think she she is great because she's somebody who at one point you know you you don't know how to take her whatsoever but there's there's such a uh, innate appeal to her as an actress and as a person that you feel drawn to her and even as the movie progresses and you th seem to understand things more you can completely understand why somebody would want to, to to be around her no matter what is what is happening in the world and, and I, I think that she's very very effective in that role for that reason then you have William Hurd who's basically a detective and it's it's really really cool because he at one point at certain points in the film he'll be giving you information that, that you didn't have and you'll be thankful for him it's a, a bit of a exposition uh, delivery point but at the same time there's also a lot of moments where you met, kind of feel like you know better than him as well and to, to have a character that kind of flip-flops back and forth between the two of them is, is really really fascinating and also I mean he William Hurt is just such a talented actor he brings a lot of gravitas to to the role and, and he really throughout a lot of the movie feels like he might be the, the knight in charming our shining armor of the story and then 
you see how everything progresses. I think that's fantastic. And you have Kiefer Sutherland, who is the exact opposite of William Hurt. I mean, he's he's another character who who does kind of go back and forth between. At times, you feel like he's giving you information, but you also feel like he might be being manipulated for, by him. He's just kind of like wormy little guy who who you don't know if you can trust, and and, and they give him all kinds of scarring, and you don't know what that's from, and you you're questioning his motivations throughout. And he has this really kind of interesting voice that he's doing where he's, he's, he's basically very uh, unassuming and, and, and frightened and he, he has a shuffle to the, to the way he walked and, and he, he's, he's a character throughout almost the entirety of the film that you do do not understand how you should be taking him and I, I think he definitely is a great addition to the story because he really deepens your confusion and, and misgivings and, and I think that that's very very key to the story and then the, the way that they create this kind of race called the strangers that show up off and on and, and you again you're, you're trying to figure them out and, and you see that they have abilities and, and, and the, just the, the stark contrast in the, from the way they look to the people around them and, and the, when you see them all in a group and, and they, they kind of have like this kind of hive mind but they're also individuals i mean i think that they're very very cool characters and also i mean one of the major things like i touched on earlier the visuals of this film but i mean when they're, you're seeing the, the city transform it's just so so mind-boggling and and there, like there's a moment where you walk in on Kiefer sutherland's character in the pool and just the way that the the, the contrast and, and and the way that the movie looks i mean it's just just absolutely amazing i adore this film i i mean i like literally everything about it there's nothing i would change if, if i could i mean i just think it's such an expertly expertly well told film and, and one that i find infinitely rewatchable and i introduce it to everybody that i can who haven't who hasn't seen it and if you're watching this for the first time and you haven't seen it please go check it out and go into it with an open mind and i think you're gonna have a really really fascinating and thought-provoking and entertaining time so those are my thoughts on dark city let me know in the comment section below what you think if you're a fan of it if you've heard of it if you know nothing about about it if you've heard about it whatever i i mean please please people watch this movie and tell me down below other than that please hit that like button hit that share button it'll make it much more likely that other people will discover this video exists and come and check it out and if you are one of those people or you just haven't done it yet please hit subscribe hit the notification bell that way you can find out when i put out new videos and come and take a look and then have yourself a good day